Welcome everyone. Welcome to another first minute episode. This is Metal Canyon and we'll be looking at a game called Soul Blight from Playway. It says it's best played with a controller. Uh, there we go. Kickstarter. Yeah, it's not even out yet. I mean, <laughs> far from it. It's only on Kickstarter. Right now it's gathering money. There's still about, I don't know, 30-ish uh, days left, so the link will be down below. Well, I don't have my controller plugged in right now, so I guess we'll have to play with a uh, keyboard and we'll see how it goes. It is a roguelite game, which means... Ooh. F1 info. Base increases disruptive attack, defense, mobility, synergy. Paints. Furious wounds requiring special treatment. You cannot sustain more than four of these. Both positive and negative temporary states, and so on. So, um, this is interesting because, um... Okay, F1. Because... Oh yeah, this, this requires... Almost requires a controller. Let me just plug one in. Give me a moment. There we go. I got the controller on now. So, how do I actually access... That's my inventory, I'm assuming. How do I access that menu? No. There we go. Alright. So, it's a roguelite, meaning that, um... You know, that even if you die, it's sort of over, but you still retain some of the stuff. That's usually what a roguelite means, anyway. Hold to browse inventory. Oh, there we go. It actually tells you everything. I don't exactly know what the whole idea of the world is. It's obviously some kind of a either apocalyptic or, you know, hellish or something uh, type of world. Oh, it is sort of 3D. Insert. I have to find the cog. Who's this guy? Whoa! Oh, whoa, whoa! B block. Attack to charge. Oh, get away from me. That's interesting. I can block, I can charge my attack like this. Whoa! What happened? He just disappeared. <clears throat> LT. There you go. Why doesn't it just automatically search it when I uh, open it? Yeah, the world is sort of 3D. That's quite nice. There's nothing else here. And there's nothing here. Alright, let's insert this. Find dollars to buy. I've got a gold bar. Don't gain the world and lose your soul. Wisdom is better than gold. And we've got wine. Wine is sunlight held together by water. Um... There's also something quite interesting here. I wish I didn't have to hold this down. Lockpick. Just a simple lockpick. How much do we have? Uh, We've got 50, I guess. And yeah, we can use the gold for that. There we go. Oh, a really interesting mechanic that they're going to do. Oh, this is grip. Touch enemy with a grip to engage him. Okay. Ow! I think I received one of those mortal... Ow! Oh, this guy has a... There's quite a lot of health. Grip. Oh, that's how you grip him. Okay. So you don't move back and forth. And I can sort of strafe around him. There we go. Swelling wound. If not treated with germy cad germ oh germicidal lotion, it will start festering. Some kind of herbs might help too. And a bleeding wound. Stop the blood loss with bandages. Oh, blood lose, or you might bleed out. Internal injury. Only long recuperation can heal this kind of injury, or maybe there is some other way. You can sustain up to four wounds. It's locked. Oh yeah, I can unlock it with lockpick. 90%. Yeah, I wanted to talk about taint. Uh, 
it is a very interesting mechanic. There's another one here, but I don't have the money. A very interesting mechanic that they will use to force the player to roleplay. So, for example, if you get the hoarder uh, taint, you know, the more items, the, the bigger variety of items you have in your... Um, in your inventory, the better the passive... Um, the passive uh, bonuses to you. So that's pretty cool. There we go. We got rid of one of the conditions or injuries. Let's see. Internal injury and swelling wound. Alright. Let's insert the cog. And we now, we now have some more money to buy another lockpick. There we go. Hold right button to sneak. Get close. What now? Kill. Ugh. To become stronger. Gain something. Essence of soul light. The great power rests within. Let's eat it. Ancient power. Bleh is your main source of strength. The more bleh you have, the bigger your damage output and resistance. Plus 300%. That's nice. Is there anything more? No. Oh, see, that's... Ah. Well, I won't be able to uh, sneak around him, that's for sure. No. Ah! Ah! Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoa! Okay, I killed him in one shot. That's fine. What's this? This, for some reason, this sort of reminds me of the more science-y levels in Baldur's Gate 2. Ugh. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind the graphics. Kind of cool, actually. Switch target. Uh oh. Now there's gonna be more than one. What the hell is all this? Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah! Ow! Oh, I have to bounce them over. Okay, I see. Like that. Ow. I guess I died. This is what you lack. Wield it and become invincible. You lack blue. Darn it. So let's try this again. Uh, this is different now. What's going on? Uh. Oh, is this taint? Prying. Increases legendary items drop rate. The bigger bleh, boost, the more punch cards you brought back to Quara so far. Whoa! I have no idea what that meant. Open. A uh, huge club. Equipable both hands. Alright, let's equip that. There's a soul vessel gem. This are worth a fortune. Yeah, there's a few uh, weird spellings in there. These are worth a fortune in the outside world. Heart of the Abyss is the only place close enough to the soul blight for them to form. Flawless Aider gem. Aider is in reality bending... Uh, is a reality bending gem. It slowly pours into the world through the open wound. What? Wound? In fabric of space and time. Ooh, that's kind of cool. And creepy at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. We are in some kind of a weird hellish environment. Hello there. Whoa! That club is a lot slower, but a lot more powerful. A 
huge club. Equipable with both hands. Well, I'm gonna... Can I not take it? Wait. Why can I not take this stuff? Oh. Because I'm using the wrong thing. <laughs> I have to get used to a controller again. What's over here? Ugh. Come on. Well, I kinda get out of this. Can I please? It's so annoying that you get stuck to the enemies. I know I can press Y, but I'm not thinking about that in the, the midst of battle. It's very annoying that you actually get stuck. I don't want to get stuck. <clears throat> then no. Uh, I just want to, you know, move about on my own. Well, let's check out this one for now. Glutton. Receive tasty after eating. The more you eat, the bigger boost you have. You're immune to food poisoning. Okay. So these, I believe these are the taints. Yeah, these are the taints. Oops. Oh, let's try this again. Give me some weapons. I can eat all this. So let's see. Equip that. Eat that. There is no love more sincere than the love of food. Tasty. Let's, let's eat the other one as well. Nom 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 nom. There. Let's try to kill those things. And I have to remember to press Y to get unattached. Or to get detached. Yeah, I won't be able to get past him. Oh, they're actually moving about. There is no way I can get to. Yeah, there we go. Can I please can you not attach? Oh my god, how do I get away from him? That is That is quite annoying. I don't know how to detach from the enemies. Grr. I am displeased. And then again, seek the strength to preserve. I don't, um, I usually don't like using a controller for these things, but there you go. Reckless. Let's try that, because I'm reckless, apparently. Receive battle cry while fight more than one enemy. Battle cry is stronger the more enemies you face. Alright. Let's equip that, and let's equip Novice Boots. The destruction power that sleeps within the black steel. Alright, so once again... Can I loot anything here? Oh, crap. Come on. Why don't... What? Can I maybe hit him at some point? What? <sighs> it would really help if I didn't get stuck to the enemies. Oh my god. How do I do that? No, I don't want to open the game bar. No! Oh, bloody hell. You started back to game. Great. In the tree, you seek the strength to preserve. I have no idea how to get unstuck if it's even possible. Coward. Alright, well, let's try that. 2% <clears throat> for every enemy assassinated, for every enemy spared. What? For every enemy you kill in combat. Brilliant! Well, I don't have to worry about that because, um... 
I cannot seem to kill them. Alright, equip. Equip. At least I get a shield now. Jeez. Alright, so we said B is for blocking, right? X is for dashing and A is for attacking. Alright, let me try that. Come on. Bastard. I know I should really avoid trying to kill it now. There we go. Ah, great. B block. Grip on off. There. Oh, there. I don't want the grip. There we go. There's a there's a bit of a delay after you decide to attack. There we go. Well, I guess I just gotta get used to it. Up. Primitive lockpick. And some money. It's yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, right there. My stamina is going down, I think. Ow. And once again. Come on. Oh, now he's holding on to me. I see. Alright. You should get better after some time, assuming you won't get more injured. Concussion? 12 minutes. Yeah, there's another thing there. Can I get past him, I wonder? Ooh, 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 ooh. There we go. That was better. He's gonna turn around now. Whee! But it didn't spare the enemy, so... Flower of life. Apply on a wound. It's locked. Well, let's unlock it with the primitive lockpick. A gem and some money. Yeah, I kind of like this. I mean, the, the combat does get a little bit getting used to. It's a little bit clunky right now. Snail. Wait, I could pet the snail? This is a silver coin. Pet the little creature. Oh, <laughs> you can pet it. That's cute. There's gonna be another guy here, isn't there? Let's see what's in here. Monies! Did I get the cog yet? Transmute? Transmutate? What? What happens? What? No, I just lost it! Oh no, I didn't. Okay, well, let's try this one then. No. Nothing happens. Not really sure what's going on there. So do I have the cog? I think I do, right? There. Yeah, it's sort of a mix between, you know, science and fantasy. It's quite interesting. Shop. Skidum offhand. This shield is made for fighting information, but it also doing its work in one-on-one -on -one combat. What? Uh, chest lid. 2.3%. Yeah, but it doesn't give me any other stats. I want to compare it. Oh, wait a second. It says plus two. Uh, nah. I ain't gonna be buying that. So yeah, quite an interesting game. Hold RB to sneak. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm getting more of that buff, it seems. Of the taint. Plus two for every enemy assassinated. Oh, okay. Spared. Okay. So I need to assassinate them. They're weird looking. Uh -oh, I want to be able to... Blah, blah. Yeah, he attaches to me. Oh, 
Get away from me. Ah, I missed. Alright. So it's the old, you know, sidestep. I like the explosion when they die, that's quite cool. There's some shops here. An Aider gem, which I'm not really sure what they can be used for yet. Ooh, thorn armor. Let's buy that. Nice. Alright, how do I equip that now? There, equip. Yeah! And we look different as well, that's nice. Well, there's a lot of enemies there. What was that? Did, do I need to eat or something? He's just killing his buddies there. That's funny. Yeah, he killed his buddies. Hungry, eat something or you will lose even more strength. Oh, that's cool. You need to eat. Alright, let's eat something. Uh, I don't have anything to eat. Pet the little creature. It seems to like you. Alright, well, we need to find some food. Oh, there's a... Disarm. Kill for food? Gecko. No, oh, let's kill for food. Sorry, Gecko. Uh, there, there is a price to pay when you kill. Remorse. Oh, no! I know, I felt bad. The silver chalice. It will take some time before you regain feeling in fingers. Watch out for your hand. Or you, it will get worse. Hand numbness. Yeah, so you get a lot of uh, negative and also positive effects while playing the game. That's kind of cool. I like the sound effects, I have to say. Wait, it was this one that I haven't searched yet because they rudely interrupted me. There's a guy there. Also, the, um... All of these things, all of these levels are randomly generated from, uh... There's no way I can get this guy. Wow. I did. Yeah, they're randomly generated from, uh, you know, prefabbed tiles. So that's pretty cool. I kind of got around here, so... But maybe... What is that guy? His head is like... I don't know. I don't quite understand what they're supposed to be. But yeah, I'm actually, you know, now that I know how to fight, it's locked. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, it's fairly fun. Tear of Nerejatan. Mystical gel. Four minutes for the concussion, so that's good. Ah! Ow. There we go. Does my health... Yeah, my health replenishes, right? It's locked. Uh-oh. I should have used the, uh... Better lockpick instead of wasting that one. I should have looked! Are there any more here? Probably. Yeah! Oh, he's got a big weapon. He's still not dead. Oh, he is. Yeah, this this game is fun. If you like these top-down type games. Uh, and I like the taint system. And the injuries. I like that. Darn it. I just wish I was better at combat. There you go. So yeah, look at all my buffs. And there's a conditions, hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, I've got a concussion, I've got these taints. That's pretty cool. Well, let me eat something then. 
There, let's eat that. Maybe eating it wasn't such a good idea. Food poisoning, brilliant. And I, I have to say, I quite like the, um... I still don't understand what this does. Fuel. You have to fuel it and then transmute? Transmutation succeeded. Okay. So what does that do? Mushrooms. Well, that wasn't much. Yeah, I like the, uh, the environment. I like the map. It's very alien and... Uh oh It's nice that it's actually 3D. That's pretty interesting. Darn it. There we go. I was really tired. My stamina was low. So I'm assuming I wasn't really doing much damage. But yeah, the environment is quite bizarre. It's like, um... It's like a plane of chaos or something. I don't have any lockpicks, unfortunately. But yeah, I, I would be down with playing this game. I'm not usually a huge fan of these types of games. Well, actually, no, maybe. Maybe. I usually don't play them with a controller, but, you know. Um, this is quite fun, actually. I wish there was a map or something. But anyway. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, preview. This little first minute. And I cannot go back. I'm doomed. Uh, and yeah, I will uh, give all the links down below for the Kickstarter and everything. This is pretty far along for it to be a Kickstarter. I quite like that. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Check out my Patreon. And I'll see you in the next first minutes. For a Let's Play. Bye-bye. <laughs>